गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेल आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू वॉच माई वीडियोज इन ए सीक्वेंस फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द गेट क्वेश्चन विच केम इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड फोर लेट मी रीड आउट द क्वेश्चन कंसिडर ए सिस्टम विथ टू लेवल कैशेस एक्सेस टाइम ऑफ लेवल वन कैश कम लेवल टू कैश एंड मेन मेमरी आर वन नैनो सेकेंड टेन नैनो सेकेंड्स and 500 nanoseconds respectively the hit rates of level 1 level 1 and level 2 caches are 0.8 and 0.9 respectively what is the average access time of the system and they have given four options a b c d all in terms of nanoseconds we need to find which is the right answer now if you see that this is question is related to the memory hierarchy they have given two levels cache and one main memory so totally we have three levels so in the last video i have discussed how many ways we can organize this three levels memory hierarchy with respect to the processor okay and we have even discussed what is the average access time that is what they are asking if you does not watch that video i request you to go and watch that video and come back to this video so that you will understand this concept in a better way now even i have said in the last video if they does not mention what is the hierarchy you can consider like this you have a processor you have l1 level l2 level and l3 level here l1 is l1 cache L2 is L2 cache, and at the last you have the main memory. And I said that you can access in two ways. You can access all of them simultaneously, or first access the processor from processor to L1, then L1 to L2, L3. So even we have discussed these two cases. If it is not given anything, you have by default you have to consider like this. Okay. So then what is the average access time? P average is equal to okay if hit ratio of this one is h1 t1 hit ratio of this one is h2 t2 and t3 is the time access for this one and i said that this will be available means what are the information will be, is you are searching it will be available in level 3 so the hit ratio of level 3 is 1 okay so h1 into t1 plus 1 minus h1 into h2 into t2 Plus one minus h one into one minus h two into t three. That is what we have discussed. Are you able to understand? T average is equal to hit ratio of level one into access time of t one plus one minus h one into h two into t two. Because if it is not available, we will say that it is a miss. And what is the chance of that? That information is. available in level 2 which will be given by hit ratio h2 and time taken for searching is t2 and if it is not available in l1 1 minus h1 if it is not available in l2 it is 1 minus h2 and time for searching here it is t3 so using this formula we will calculate this one so what they have given they have given that l1 and l2 cache and main memory they have given that 1 nanoseconds 10 nanoseconds and 500 nanoseconds so they have given t1 is equal to 1 nanosecond t2 is equal to 10 nanoseconds and t3 is equal to 500 nanoseconds they have given okay are you able to understand and let me write here t1 is equal to 1 nanosecond t2 is equal to 10 nanoseconds and t3 is equal to 500 nanoseconds okay and then hit ratio of l1 meaning is that h1 they have given it as 0.8 and h2 they have given as 0.9 okay then they are asking us to calculate the average access time so let me erase this one and substitute these values in this formula okay what is that formula t average is equal to t average is equal to h1 what is the h1 value 0.8 into t1 t1 is 1 nanosecond everything is in terms of nanoseconds the result is also let me write directly 1 okay plus 1 minus h1 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2 into h2 which is 0.9 
into t2 which is 10 plus 1 minus h1 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2 1 minus h2 0, 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 and t3 t3 is 500 nanoseconds so let me write it as 500 so 0 0.8 into 1 is 0 0.1 okay if you consider this one 0 0.9 into 10 is 9 okay 9 into 0 0.2 you will get it as 1.8 if you have any doubt 9 into 2 is 18 if you divide by 10 you will get 1.8 plus 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 into 500 so 0 0.2 into 1 into 5 you will get am i right because with this 0 i can make this one as 2 with this 0 i can make it as 1 so 2 into 1 into 5 so you will get 0 0.8 plus 1.8 plus 10 which is equal to 11.8 plus 0 0.8 you will get 12.6 nanoseconds so this is the right answer for this question so 12.6 nanoseconds is the average access time so the right answer for this question is option c if you have any doubts related to this question feel free to ask it in the comment session i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day